Hey everyone, Shadow here, and welcome to another Marvel Contest of Champions video. So it's season 32, and this is war number two. And we're going up against an alliance called No Phi IX Given. Yeah, that's how I'm going to say it, because I know what it actually says. Anyway, uh, let's take a look and uh, spectate, see what we got on defense here. Now, I take path three section one and two so first up we've got um guillotine 2099 the first mini is doom okay we got long shot there yeah all right the mini here before section two is human torch then we've got colossus we've got modok Ooh, and we got Penny on that node. So here's Mini Boss Island. Um, let's see. First thing I got to do is make sure I can do my paths and maybe take a mini or two. So I'm going to, I'm actually going to bring in Hercules. Now my six star Hercules is an Alliance quest. That's the main focus. But I can bring in my five-star uh, Hercules, and I think he will do okay. Should be able to handle that one. Remind myself here. Yeah, yeah that shock debuff, though. It's better to have somebody who's shocking me in. Hmm. Thinking Corvus would probably be better. Let me see, if I brought Corvus, I wanna bring uh, Black Widow Clairvoyant for that Colossus. Modoc, um, I can do with, with Claire or um, Corvus. Corvus can get another uh, mission off of that. And as far as Penny goes, ooh. Okay, yeah. Maybe I'll bring my, um, instead of uh, Hercules, I'll bring Corvus. Once again, my six-star Corvus is in Alliance Quest. Um, but the five-star should do just fine. So Corvus, Black Widow Clairvoyant, and Warlock. Warlock to handle that penny if I am needed to handle that penny on that mini right there. So I won't have Spider-Man 2099. So I, I probably won't be messing with the boss. All right. And that Doom, I'm trying to think, because Corvus can do it. Corvus can do it, Warlock can do it, Claire can do it. It's just a little dicey because of the um, Furies that he can build up, and he already hits really hard. Yeah, that masochism is not too fun either. Yeah, we'll, we'll see. I might see if uh, my alliance mates uh, take him out. And then I can get uh, that penny. And if they do that while I'm asleep, by any chance, let's look at Mini Boss Island here. So that um, ooh, that thing I probably won't mess with. Although Claire can do it if I have to. Uh, that Apocalypse Warlock can do that fight. Uh, we've got Sorcerer Supreme. Warlock can do that fight as well, but uh, it can be a little dicey. And we've got ooh, Weapon X, Terax. I don't usually mess with that right side. Uh, we have, you know, our backup come in with counters for those guys. So 
Shouldn't have to worry about that unless I'm asked to fight somebody. All right. So that's what I'm going to do. Warlock. Corvus and Black Widow Clairvoyance. I'm just thinking about it. Really wanted to bring Spider-Man in, but... Yeah, I think I'll do that. All right, let's get on with the fighting. All right, we are back. And I'm going in with this team here. You can see the champions that are banned. Doesn't affect me. Uh, I'm going in with Corvus. And let me tell you guys something about this war. It's actually a three fight war, but one of those fights is the boss. All right, and you'll see how that happened. First fight is up against Guillotine 2099. I don't like fighting her. Uh, sometimes she can be really tricky. Her specials lunge at you. They have a really good distance. Sometimes she has a very fast recovery from when she's knocked down. It's not fun. All right, so first we started off by knocking her down and putting that digi cloak on cooldown. Now I can fight her without worrying about her going, you know, uh, that digi cloak activating. All right, here it's back again. So I got to knock her down again, put it on cooldown, and keep going. And sometimes she'll fire off her special, which is annoying because it eats away some of that time that I could be attacking her. Okay, and see there, I did a little uh, risky play by attacking her because she could have gone uh, digicloak right there. Okay, and then here she is, her self repair. And I tried to finish her off with that uh, special, didn't work. And there, digicloak. Knew it was going to happen, I got impatient. She, she, she's just really annoying. Okay, very annoying. And there we go. Finally, we got her down. I just don't like fighting her. She, she's just, yeah. Anyway, we got her down. We didn't die. We're good. Now, this next fight, I did not want to take that fight, given uh, the folks that I had. Um, so what I did was I waited to see if they were going to take it. When I woke back up, I was in... One of the guys had taken my path. Okay, they they took the mini, but they also cleared my path in section three. And I was like, okay. Um, not sure why they chose my path, but I positioned myself, as you saw there, because I saw that there was this Cersei left. And just in case I was needed. Well, there's Cersei and the boss left. I have never taken this particular path and I haven't fought Cersei on this node before. So I was very nervous about this. Uh, but uh, one of the officers asked me to help with Cersei and the boss. So I said, okay, let's do this. All right, so this fight here, I was fighting nervous, let me tell you, okay? I was fighting very nervous. Uh, very nervously. I was not sure uh, how to evade her specials reliably, but I seemed to do it. And I said accidentally, and, and they laughed at me, but honestly, I'm still not sure of the timing. I really am not. Okay, now that one, I thought it was a special too, but I wasn't quite there yet. And you see here, I didn't evade it all the way, right? And I was like, okay, um... I remember the nodes saying something about unblockable specials. So I better know how to evade them, which I didn't think I did. Okay, look at that, unblockable. And I'm like, boy, I'm gonna get beat up. That's why I popped that invulnerability boost. All right, we're good, we're good. So far, we have not gotten smashed up. Okay, there's the unblockable again. And it seems like I'm evading it just fine. For some reason, when she first came out, I was getting hit with it left and right. You know, <clears throat> sorry, left and right. But 
I was evading it here. I don't, I don't know why. All right, so there we go with that one. And that one always scares me because it comes all the way over where I am. But I evaded it as well. And we got her down without dying. I was worried about it because uh, the score was very, very close at this point. And I didn't want to be the reason we lost by like one uh, death or something like that. All right, so now we've got the boss. And honestly, I was much more comfortable fighting the boss than I was fighting that Cersei. All right, so uh, I'm gonna get out of your way. And here is the boss fight. So we got the boss down without dying. And fighting him is not that difficult. You just need to manage that falter. That falter is what will get you. <clears throat> Other than that, it was a pretty straightforward fight. All right, so uh, we'll take a brief intermission and we'll be back and you will find out how this war ended. And we're back. And as you can see, we won this war. So we lost one. We've won one. I haven't heard anything about us making a push for Platinum 3. So we're probably going to just continue in a relaxed fashion uh, going for uh, Platinum 4. All right. And you can see our tier is, is slipped down to 5. But hopefully we'll start getting that back up. But that's going to do it. Thank you all for watching the video. Feel free to hit that like button if you enjoyed it. Leave a comment. Let me know what you thought about the video. And you all have a blessed day.